Here's the latest digest of space and science news. Remember to tell us in the comments which one impressed you most. Viper, which stands for NASA's Volatiles Investigating Exploration Rover, has got its neck and head, aka its mast. It means that now, the rover stands proudly at eight feet tall. The rover's design will help the team of scientists controlling it overcome the challenges of the lunar surface, like big rocks, craters, and dead zones where communication might temporarily cease. The impressive robot is expected to make a trip to the south pole of the moon later this year, starting its 100-day mission. This mission will involve finding out more about water on Earth's natural satellite and learning about other resources that might be abundant in the region. Viper is also supposed to help researchers understand what conditions astronauts might expect during NASA's future Artemis missions. For the first time ever, scientists have managed to simulate neurological junctions called synapses. To do it, they used the same water and salt ingredients the brain uses, combining biology with electronics called iontronics. The international team of researchers claims to have been inspired by the functioning of the human brain. It also uses charged particles called ions dissolved in water and capable of transmitting signals within neurons. The brain-like device, called the iontronic memristor, is shaped like a cone with a solution of water and salt inside. It measures a mere 150 to 200 micrometers, which is the width of around three to four human hairs placed side by side. Recently, Earth's orbit has become a very busy place. Too busy, in fact. It's swarming with human-made objects, from satellites to space debris. There are 3,000 active satellites and an estimated 8,000 tons of space debris currently traveling around our planet. Concerns about orbital congestion have never been more pressing. At the same time, global temperatures are on the rise, which makes experts explore potential links between all that stuff in Earth's orbit and climate change. If they find some kind of connection, we can start considering the practical side of the issue, looking for innovative solutions to mitigate the environmental impact of space clutter. For about 20 years, scientists have been exploring the chemical makeup of the jets on Enceladus, one of Saturn's biggest moons. And not so long ago, researchers determined that the salt-filled frozen liquid and gas plumes contain the key ingredients crucial for sustaining life. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, and phosphorus. But an even more recent discovery claims that the eruptions on Enceladus, which vary in brightness, originate in four distinct fractures on the surface of the celestial body. They're called tiger stripes. And these tiger stripes apparently open differently than previously thought. Their movements are similar to those of California's San Andreas fault line, side to side or strike slip motion that starts when an earthquake occurs. And this motion might be regulating Enceladus's jets. Scientists believe that the transport history of the moon's mineral rich expulsions is likely to help us figure out whether the moon is actually habitable. Scientists have developed a self-digesting plastic. They claim it might help reduce pollution. Polyurethane is widely used these days, from phone cases to trainers. But it's hard to recycle and normally ends up in landfill. The new sci-fi-like solution involves incorporating spores of plastic-eating bacteria to produce a plastic that can self-destruct. The spores remain dormant during the useful lifetime of the material but they spring back to life and begin digesting the plastic when they get exposed to nutrients in the compost. If this idea works out, we might be able to mitigate plastic pollution in nature. Plus, there could be an added advantage. The spores increase the toughness of the plastic, making the material more rugged and extending its useful lifetime. 
The type of bacteria added to the plastic is widely used as a food additive and a probiotic. 